guys, this is Amanda with Style Digital, and today I'm going to quickly walk you through how to add a full width newsletter block to your Bedford template in Squarespace. So this is what I'm using is a completely brand new install of the Bedford template. Nothing, there's nothing custom here. This is pretty much a blank slate in terms of um, the Bedford template. So what we're going to do to start off is we're going to add a newsletter block to the pre-footer area. So we're going to edit this. Add a newsletter block. I'm going to delete the title and then for the description we're going to just put let's connect for now but you can use whatever you'd like. We're going to delete the disclaimer and we're going to make sure the alignment is set to center and layout is float fields. Then you're going to connect that to whatever, um, oops, to whatever system you want. I'm going to use MailChimp for the demo. Select my list and apply. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to want to remove everything else that's in here. Yes, and save. All right, at this point, we're going to add just a little bit of custom CSS to make that area full width. So I'm going to add this, and all this, all these snippets are on my website. If you'd like to use them. All right, so at this point, what we need to do is move this block under the banner. And we're going to use JavaScript to do that. But first, we need to find out what our, what our um, div is for the, uh, this newsletter block. So in order to do that, we're just going to <clears throat> Use Firebug, I'm sorry, Chrome Inspector to, to get that information. Okay, so we're going to go all the way up to here. And get this ID. Copy that ID. And then we're going to just paste that into our into our JavaScript snippet and let's see we go to settings advanced code injection and footer I'm just going to copy that ID right here for now and then we're going to take that snippet that I have on my website and put it in here <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to delete that and then put it right here. And then we're going to save. All right, so now that we see our newsletter block is right here, but it's not looking so great. So what we're going to do is go to design. And go to our style editor. And we're just going to go down to the newsletter block and assign it a background color. We'll just do black for now so you can see. And then we can, uh, let's see. <clears throat> Actually, we're just going to leave all that blank. Maybe we can play with the padding a little bit. Okay, so at this point, um, we want to take out this padding right here. I'm sorry, this, <clears throat> yes, this padding. And, and make these, this text and this text aligned. And we're going to do that by adding more JavaScript, I'm um, sorry, more uh, CSS. Okay. 
and then you see we have this this is the placeholder I have for my uh, my website so we want to go ahead and update that with the new ID for yours <clears throat> and let's see that was in settings advanced so take that ID again and put that into your custom CSS right here. All right, so now so now you've got your newsletter blocked under your banner only on the home page. On all the other pages, it'll be at the bottom in the pre-footer. Like so. All right, I hope this has been helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, just shoot me an email at amanda at styledigital.com. Thanks, guys.